A federal judge in New York City heard arguments yesterday in a lawsuit that challenges search procedures at the U.S. border. At issue is the privacy of personal electronic devices. And the plaintiff is an American citizen who says he has done nothing wrong. Michelle Miller has more. I've crossed the border dozens of times. Pascal Albador is an American and French citizen. The Islamic Studies graduate student was on a train from Montreal to New York last year when his travel history raised concerns at the U.S. border. I lived in Jordan. I've traveled to Lebanon. And I've also been to Yemen. Border agents searched his belongings, seized his laptop, and ordered him to log on. Next thing I know there, my laptop is being perused and I'm being asked, I'm being basically laughed at and officers are being asked, to, uh, other officers being asked to look, oh, look what he's got. What he had, besides personal pictures, were propaganda photos like these of Islamic militants from Hamas and Hezbollah. Right. Abador says he downloaded them for research. They frisked me, they put me in handcuffs. He was jailed and interrogated for three more hours. The top two questions. Had I ever been to a mosque? Um, they were also curious in, uh, you know, what, uh, what religion or nationality my parents were. Uh, Amador was released, but the government kept his computer for 11 days. He was one of nearly 12,000 travelers who've had their electronic devices searched at the border during the past three years. Abador and the ACLU are now suing the Department of Homeland Security to stop those searches, unless there's a reasonable suspicion that someone broke the law. But DHS argues electronic devices are no different than luggage, and that the search has affected less than 1% of the 36 million travelers subjected to border security screenings. DHS would not agree to an on-camera interview, but a spokesman told us searches of laptops and other electronic media are a targeted tool to ensure that dangerous people and unlawful goods do not enter our country. If you're going to hold a device for more than 24 hours, it would appear to me that you would need to have a probable cause in order to uh, continue searching. Asa Hutchinson, a former federal prosecutor who was in charge of border security during the Bush administration, says the current policy is not a good balance between security and privacy. We want to not be the reputation of the United States that if you're a business traveler, leave your laptop at home. The Justice Department is asking a federal judge to dismiss Abador's lawsuit. But if the judge finds that these searches do violate the right to privacy, the government would be expected to appeal. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.